Yeah, I want to do a lamp aftermath video and we're analyzing these lamps as we go. So I marked them all one, two, three, four, five. Number one lamp is uh, definitely a goner. The R cube is just broken off. Shit. Do you see it? That's gone complete. This is lamp number two. It looks still intact, so I'm going to quickly pop it in the device and see if it works. So I've got the device here. Energize device. Now that is stoofed. Lamp number three is hard with the glare. The arc tube is cracked at the top. Not sure if you can see it, but it's cracked. And yes, it is uh, defective. Lamp number four I want to plug in briefly, see if it still works because it made me cycling. Yeah, it's still going. So I'm going to pop that out with a different... It's not happy. I'll see what happens. Very happy, but it still works. I think that lamp was in a cycling mode and it didn't destroy itself, so let it warm up and see what happens. No filter in front, a little blue green in there, beautiful. Beautiful color. Oh, that's intense. That is very bright. Oh, it's getting bright now. It's very bright. Camera will not doing it justice. That's the load by the ampere 170 watts. I can tell you that a bit more at some stage. The energized lamp, I watch the afterglow. That's yeah, pretty hot, that lamp. The one still works. Lamp number five burned a hole in that capsule. I'm gonna pop the glass, I think, see how that's gonna look. Okay, number five lamp. We'll pop it in the vise. Put it in a rag. Keep it wrapped in. Control all the debris. In fact, it's pretty tough that thing. go. That glass is pretty tough. Control is the key here. Well, the arc tube had broken but I saw it looked like it had a hole in there somewhere. You can bit of the electron. Remains with the arc tube. This material is pretty tough, eh? Not even sure that this is some aluminium type stuff, I think, when it's made of. So we give that one another shot.